This is a start of a mass defiance campaign. We have realized that the people who are in power are not capable of dismantling apartheid. And we are suffering as black people under this apartheid. Thus, we've taken a decision to take it in our hands <laughs> uh, in dismantling of this apartheid. We see no reason why 
some of the public facilities should be open to whites and when we pay tax just like them and it is denied to us hence then the people have taken this decision We're defying, that's what we're doing, but we all know that uh, in South Africa we have these beaches which are reserved for white people only, and I think what we are actually just saying here today in all our numbers, that we are tired now, and we are defying now, and despite the police presence, we are going to be here, and we're going to be here for a long time. So, we're waiting, we're here to have fun. We hope one day, but I'm sure one day all this is going to be for everyone to enjoy. That's our slogan, free the beaches for all. I'm sure you guys are aware that we're having these racist elections uh, starting on the 6th of September. We will be defying today. I think from tomorrow we'll be having work stoppages on the 5th and 6th with the massive stay away. So I think until for the next month at least, um, we're going to at least term this the 10 days that rock South Africa. I am Zoli Malindi, uh, president of the UDF. I am confined to the magisterial district of Weinberg. And I am not allowed to address more than 10 people. <laughs> I am confined to my house between the hours of 7 in the evening and 6 in the morning. My name is Joseph Marx. I live in Steenberg. I am restricted to my house. I have got the same restrictions as Zori Malindi. I am defying the unjust restrictions tonight here because it is human and because it is my right to do so. And I expect everybody else here that the reason why we beg this is to raise the consciousness of the masses and also the international community to our plight. So that the restrictions on us, the state of emergency, the, the, the political prisoners and the exile should come home so that we can have peace and friendship and a just government, a government for the people, by the people. I thank you. Manga. Viva! Viva!
comrades, my name is Hilda. I belong to the United Women's Congress and also a former publicity secretary of the UDF, now restricted, confined to the Weinberg magisterial area. I'm not supposed to address more than 10 people and I'm not supposed to attend any gathering whatsoever. But today, because I know that I'm the one who is oppressed and that is why I dedicated myself to be in the struggle, to want to free myself from the bondages. So nobody else can free me except me standing up and freeing myself from the bondages. But it is a decision that was reached collectively and democratically by restrictees. It is something that we worked through with our families over a period of time. So we go in strength. And the services evening has been tremendous in that it has confirmed the kind of community support that there is for the action that we're taking. Can I see identification? You may. We can either do this in a proper manner, or we can go from here to Athlone Police Station. No way. We don't ask for confrontation, but this is looking for confrontation. You are looking you, for confrontation. You don't want confrontation with the people. Quite easy. So you have contravened your banning order. So have we all. I have to warn you that I'm going to open a dossier. Take it you. to the devil. And I have to warn you that anything you say will be taken down and can be used against you. Now you are not entitled to say anything. So I'm just informing you that the charge will be laid against you. Proceed. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. You are not prepared to sign a warning statement at this stage? Not at all. Thank you very much. Please. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 We are very proud to be associated with the Defiance campaign. We make no secret of it. And we make no secret of the fact that during the Defiance campaign we are breaking laws. We are breaking laws not because we don't like laws. We are breaking the laws because the laws are unjust and immoral. And therefore, we are entitled to break those laws. You may ask, as many others have asked, what is the aim of the Defiance campaign? Comrades, there are a number of aims. Fundamentally, one of the main objects of the Defiance campaign is to say to the people of this country that you must free yourself. Nobody else is going to free you. And the Defiance campaign places the responsibility for change in the hands of the people of this country.
more than a thousand people were arrested yesterday. We have said that we will show this government and the world that four years of a state of emergency and four years of the most unbelievable brutality and four years of detention without trial and restrictions of our leaders and imprisonment and detainees and all of that that comes with it, four years of all of that could not break the back of the democratic movement and neither could it break the spirit of our people. On the 5th and the 6th, there shall be a stay away. And I hope that our people will stay away in their millions so that the economy of this country can feel the power of our oppressed people when we make up our minds. Now I know, I know it's against the law to call for a stay away. I know it's against the law to propagate it. I know it's against the law to say you must do so. I know it's against the law to say to people, don't go to work on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's against the law to say to people, don't go and vote on Wednesday in those silly elections. So it's against the law, so what? The law doesn't exist. I have one more thing that I need to say. The mass democratic movement has asked the comrades, our white comrades, who belong to the MDM, not to go and vote on Wednesday. And I hope that you will do that, comrades, as you sit in this church. We must be through with the silly excuses that white politics are different from black politics. You know that it is not so. The time has come for all of us to stand together shoulder to shoulder. And what we go through, you must go through. If you can march with us on Saturday, then you can stay away from the polls with us on Wednesday. And that needs to happen.